Reconciliation is a hot topic today in Canadian society. But how do we begin to make amends for some of the injustices that were perpetrated in our country's history? And more importantly, what does that reconciliation look like? That we are in a time, an era of reconciliation, I believe people will call it. We don't like the word reconciliation very much because it's being overused. It's being overused in ways that are disingenuous. True reconciliation includes Indigenous perspectives, people and voices from the onset of any concept. And so if Indigenous voices and perspectives are not included at every single step of that process, you're using the buzzword reconciliation instead of true reconciliation. Those are Michael Champagne's words as he addressed about 50 members of the Rotary Club of Winnipeg. Michael is an Indigenous youth activist and organizer of Aboriginal Youth Opportunities. He met with the Rotary Club of Winnipeg at the Convention Centre this past week to discuss reconciliation and how we can support Aboriginal youth. And so the first request I have for all of you is to walk with us. Don't walk ahead of us. Don't tell us where to walk. Walk with us. Our example is our message. So if we lead something, it's okay to follow, especially if you get invited, like right now. Michael spoke genuinely and from his heart on a number of Aboriginal issues close to him, and those words struck a chord with some of the attending members, such as Nancy Causeway, the wife of current Rotary president. What Michael said was, uh, was right on. We have to work together. Uh, we can't find solutions for other people. People have to be involved in creating their own solutions, maybe with a little bit of guidance, with some suggestions, some alternatives they might not think of, but they have to, they have to make the decisions themselves. And definitely, if the youth aren't there, uh, we're in trouble because <laughs> we're all going to be gone someday, and those guys have to be here to hold up the fort. Michael ended his presentation with a call of support for the Show Lake 40 First Nation and their Freedom Road. We have enough influence sitting in this room to seriously address the shortfall in funding and support for Show Lake 40's Freedom Road initiative. And I feel like it is our responsibility as the citizens of Winnipeg to ensure that the water that we receive, bathe our children with, drink, uh, feed our community members uh, food with, that that water is honored in a good way. And I don't believe that that water is honored in a good way unless we find a way for our relatives at the other end of the aqueduct to also have that same privilege. Now if you're like me, sometimes you want to help, but it's hard to find where to start. Michael had a simple way of getting involved. The easiest way would be to show up at a Meet Me at the Bell Tower Friday. Um, what it does is that positions uh, non-Indigenous Winnipeggers to be in a welcoming space where Indigenous young people are in a leadership role. And also, in that moment, we can work cooperatively with whoever wants to help uh, and ask them, what kind of help do you want to give? Because we recognize that everyone has a variety of gifts and abilities, and we only want people to support us in ways that they are comfortable doing so. If you'd like to learn more about Michael Champagne or the Aboriginal Youth Opportunities Organization, please visit ayomovement.com or search Meet Me at the Bell Tower on Facebook for more information. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the Rotary Club of Winnipeg and their support for Michael, please visit winnipegrotary.org.